Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Travis Dykes. Today's video is sponsored by Sweetwater Sound, so make sure you go check them out, linked in the description. You know, this year has been quite a busy year for me, and I'm sure it's been quite a busy year for a lot of musicians right now, because we're getting back out on the road and traveling again. But with getting back out on the road, there's some equipment that I have to have when it comes to touring and you know, doing live shows and different things like that. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, if been to a concert where you saw somebody run across the stage and they had their bass or their guitar and they're running and they're playing. When I've been in the crowd, like I've always wondered, I was like, oh my gosh, that's super cool. And for the longest time I was just like, oh man, they just got like a professional sound guy, man. He, he, he must like supply all that kind of stuff. But I really didn't know that um, he doesn't supply that. But really, you have to buy it if you want it. I didn't know that. But now I finally got my own and I'm super excited to show you guys how you can play bass with no cables. So guys, I got this new piece of equipment that I'm super excited about, which is the Shure GLXD4R. I think I got that right. That's this new uh, guitar wireless rig that I got. It's basically a transmitter and a receiver. Works the same way pretty much, just like wireless microphones work. It's just instead of receiving a microphone, it's receiving from a, a pack like this right here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but this is a... This is a Shure receiver, a particular rig I'm using this G7 uh, frequency band. So what happens basically is that you plug in your bass to this little receiver right here. And then this goes, it sends a signal to this guy right here, which is our wireless transmitter. If you have a pedal board or pedals or going into an amp, this will be right beside it. So right here we got this, it's got a quarter inch out right here. And it also has an XLR out. Literally, if I wanted to use this to just go straight direct into a sound system without going through any pedals or amps, I can with this XLR right here. And then it's just got like a mic and line switch right here. So you can kind of control which one you use. I like to go to the mic and I'll show you why in a little bit. But yeah, it's got some really cool things. It's got, you know, the antennas just like normal transmitters do. And then it has this little battery charger. Basically when you take it out of here, let me show you just real quick. Urgh. What? Oh, okay, it slides, okay. Now you can take this off. By the way, this is this is my first time ever working with this, so I haven't really tried it out a ton or at all. So, got the battery right here. And what happens is that the battery, from what I could tell, uh, it goes in here. Oh yeah, look. It's a green light, there's a light coming on, it's flashing, and it's charging the battery. So you can just, it's a battery charger right there on it. But for now, we'll just, take her out. So let's put it back in here. It's really strong, it's metal. Everything is metal and it's build quality is so great on this. But anyways, there's a little switch right here. Switch it on, you see a green light and now you know that it's ready to go. And I was like, man, this is gonna be a complicated setup, blah, blah, blah. But uh, from what I saw in a video, it says you just power it on and power the receiver on and it should automatically select the frequency or whatever, so. All right, this is the first for both of us. Let me just cut it on. Wasn't okay. All right, it's not coming on. Maybe. Oh, hold on. I think I may need to hold it. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. So now looking at it, let me see. So it looks like it's, it's on auto. So basically, it's picking a channel for you. All right. So let's see what it looks like when I cut the receiver on. Yep. There we go. What's really cool, from what I can see now that I have it on, it shows you the battery life on here. That's sick. Um, it also has gain right here where you can cut it up or down, which it started out at like plus 10 dB. So I think that's probably gonna be a little too much uh, because I'm definitely going through a pedal. I'm gonna crank it down to like maybe like minus 15 just to see. I always like to go under just to see and just bring it up to where it needs to be. From what it says, we should be ready to go. Uh. Look at this guy. Sorry, this girl, Asia. What we're gonna do is they have this cable that comes with it right here. It's a quarter inch, but it's not quarter inch on both sides. Basically, it has, there's like a, a four pin connection right here. And it's got like a little lock so it doesn't just swing out. So now I'm gonna plug this into my base. Okay, I'm just gonna take it. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So now what I'm gonna do is take this little, it has a little clip on here. I'm just gonna clip it to my strap. Should fall behind my back pretty good. 
or it's reading, it's reading that I'm getting a signal. And so now what I need to do, now that I have it hooked up and it's getting a signal, I've got to send that signal somewhere. So let's send it to my pedal. So I got my quarter inch going to my pedal board. So what I'm gonna do is take this and plug it in. Let's see if it gets anything. Oh, I'm getting something guys. Wow, it's coming through pretty good. Let's see what happens if I cut up the gain a little bit. Because I have it at minus 15 right now. Let me see. I feel like it's it's kind of limiting it a little bit. Let me see. Let me go, let me go further. I'm gonna go to zero. Ooh. I'm already noticing it get way louder. <laughs> So what's happening, I feel like, is that it's a limiter, because when I play, it kind of goes away a little bit. My pedal, I think my pedal's catching it because it's so much volume coming through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it back down to minus 15. Now it's back to normal, it's clean, it's not too airy or anything like that. Now. That's weird, be, uh, that's interesting to me because uh, usually it's hard to get enough volume from bass. So the fact that it sends so much of an amped volume, uh, it's, that's kind of cool, but because we can control it too. So, but just know if you buy one of these, it starts off at plus 10. So just know that this thing comes in hot. Let's do a check. If I cut this off, will it make a pop? No. I guess that makes sense because you cut it off. How is it going to get to it anyway? So, but I didn't know if it was going to pop when I cut it off, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It comes off clean. It just, you know, literally kills the power. If I have this on, I'm sure it'll come through. Oh, yep. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, it's definitely coming through. So, but if you cut it off, you have your own little mute. So you don't have to worry about the sound guy having to mute you. So now I think we're ready to take this thing out for a gig. So after that, I packed up my wireless rig and I headed to a festival gig the next day in Paducah, Kentucky. Uh, so we just got here. We got a friend here. Justin. Ooh, Justin. What's say up? hello. What's up? You ready? <laughs> you ready? ready? So we are uh, getting ready to go set up. I got my wireless rig and my little mono tick bag, which is falling apart really bad. <laughs> But it, it fit in there with all my uh, other stuff, so. Stage is over there. This is where all the buses and all that kind of stuff are. So yeah, we're getting ready to set it up and hopefully it works out. This is uh, just like a, the first time I've ever used it on the road. So let's see what happens. Justin's rocking his wireless. Are you got your wireless hooked up? Yeah. This is right here. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're about to do this. All right. The show went great, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any footage of us playing live at the show because it started to rain. 
but I was able to get a shot of me playing with this wireless system on a recent tour I just finished and it worked extremely well. This wireless rig was very easy to travel with and easy to set up every time that I used it. Each audio engineer that I worked with told me they loved the way it sounded and that it was never in the way of their other wireless systems because of the frequency range. So after testing it, I would recommend this wireless system to any bass player or musician needing a wireless rig. If you guys have any questions about this product or any of the other products that I've talked about on my episodes of What Is That, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me on Instagram at T Dykes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh,